there's quite a few souls hanging around. I've just had a horrible vision of somebody beating someone with a stick. Every bone in my body just crunched. Alison, he does not want anybody in this house. Clamoring, climbing up me. Is she going through? No. I'm just so frightened. This week, the rescue mediums visit the ominously named village of Seagrave, where this house seems to have a ghost for every member of the family. It's been quite a bit of action going on through the three years that we've been here. You're never alone here. You get the feeling that there's something here. I was on this exercise machine that we have. I was pushed over the top of it. And when I hit the cement, every bone in my body just crunched. The rescue mediums are on their way to help. This is a big one here, he might know. Can you help us? We're lost. Which way do we go? Although the ladies may need a little bovine intervention. Jackie and Alison are renowned psychic mediums who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. I got let off at the top of the driveway, and as I was walking, there was footsteps in front of me all the way to the door. I went upstairs, and my T-shirt was hanging in the middle of the room. Then the house had a heartbeat. I was laying on the couch watching TV while somebody was stroking my hair. Well, I think we must be moving in the right direction. We must be. You missed that one, Alison, didn't you? Obviously, the rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the name of the town has been kept secret until now. Although days earlier, they had some uncanny premonitions. Night fears. Yeah. You've got a similar thing with night. Nervous feelings when the lights go out at night. Well, our granddaughter goes up, went upstairs and... Three o'clock in the morning, she woke up screaming. Children or child in spirit. An angel's wing. There was a little angel that was sitting on a shelf and it came flying across the room and landed at my feet. TV that turns on and off by itself. The TV in the middle of the night when it comes on, it's full blast. Feeling jumpy and on edge in one area. Yes. Of the, property. the upstairs here bothers me more than the rest of the house. I don't like it upstairs, so I don't go upstairs. This particular room is the most eerie room in the house. You feel like there's somebody standing right behind you all the time. <sighs> this lady's lovely. She's so sweet. Oh, she is, isn't she? Isn't she? Yeah. In addition to their premonitions, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to find during their investigation. It looks a bit hard. Now, I don't know if he's a farmer or if, he's, if this is war. Or maybe he was a farmer who went to war. I would really appreciate the rescue mediums to try to get them to go to the light, because I do believe that's where they need to be. They must have heard we were coming. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie and Alison are the rescue mediums. Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Jackie. I'm Jackie as well. Oh, wow. Psychics who make house calls. Pleased to meet you too. <laughs> Gathering in the living room, the rescue mediums present their premonitions. I have the name of Jackie <laughs> written down. <laughs> Pen is from heaven. Yes. Night fears. That would night. be my granddaughter children or child that's in the spirit world? Yes. Yes. Two peas in a pod. Don't know, that's twins or whatever, I don't know. Mary. The name Mary. James. Feeling jumpy and on edge in one area in the property in particular. Yes. Right. 
heart beating fast as well. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go through the drawings now as well. This is called the nightmare, so I didn't know whether somebody in the property was having nightmares. Rockabye baby. That one reminds me of the Cupid dolls. It does. <laughs> so we have this lady here. That face looks familiar. I can't place it, but that does look very. Right, this gentleman we have there. I wanted a farming connection with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> you recognise that? Yes. Well, <gasps> should we go and have a look outside first? Yes, I think we should. Next, Jackie and Alison discover a presence. There's a lady stood there. Or rather, a presence discovers them. What's happened? The rescue mediums are investigating this home in the town of Seagrave, which seems to house more of the dead than the living. Every bone in my body just crunched. You recognize that? Yes. The rescue mediums begin their investigation by surveying the property's ample grounds. It's quite extensive, isn't it? Yeah. Well, these are obviously... Did you think somebody was behind us, then? I just felt really strange, like... I did. We were being followed. Could we both turn round at the yeah, same time, then? I did. Look at that view. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Wow. Somebody's just said to put my heart, life and soul into, into this, this place, place, you know. Yeah. Do you know, I can actually feel him going like this. But in a proud way. Yeah, and just looking. A strong, proud spirit emanates from the land. The rescue mediums continue to search for more psychic messages. They come across a decrepit and long-abandoned barn. I feel that there's quite a few souls hanging around. I know. <gasps> Heart beating fast now. Oh, I feel really strange in here. Oh, somebody behind me. I can feel real shivers down my spine. <laughs> Somebody's just said this was painstaking. Painstaking. I looked, as you said that, I could hear somebody talking. Right. Yes, yeah, somebody put everything into this place. They did. I'd say it's painstaking and just look at it now. Yeah. I've just been given a Sergeant Major. A second presence makes contact. Sergeant Major. Oh. Yes. Oh, stand to attention. I feel I should be marching. Do you? In their quest for more clues to the two male spirits, Jackie and Alison turn their attention to inside the home. First, to the seldom used Ooh. basement. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I've just had a horrible vision of somebody beating someone with a stick. They're saying we're meddling as well. We are, and we're going to. The rescue mediums move to the main floor to continue their investigation. Oh, I've got somebody with me, I think, Jack. Here, I can feel shivers down my spine. Somebody's here. Yeah, somebody's been with us all the time. But this room's odd. I don't like this room. There's a lady that walks in and out of this room. Let's have a look upstairs. In pursuit of the female spirit, the rescue mediums ascend to the second floor. Oh, yes. It's behind me again. It's like clamouring, climbing up me. That's what it feels like. There's a lady stood there. She's staring, she's like this. There's a man there now as well. There. Yeah. Hello? Oh, my. 
my god. Oh god, my heart's beating already really fast. I can feel the friction. There's something not right at all about this. No. Alison is drawn to this antique doll. I want to look after it now. Alison cradles the doll to channel a direct link to the female spirit they have encountered. Oh, frightened. He's violent. She's frightened of him. What's happened to the baby? What happened to the baby? I don't know. What did she do that was so wrong? Alison uncovers a secret. Seeing something. Something really wrong with my head. But has she gone too far? Alison. While investigating this farm in the sleepy town of Seagrave, Jackie and Alison have discovered a plethora of disturbed spirits. The same way, Madeline. Seeking to uncover more secrets. What's happened to the baby? Alison intensifies her psychic link and discovers the presence of a violent husband. She wants to protect the baby. Okay. Does she want our help? Yeah, she's holding her hands out. Okay, I'm gonna give you my energy. I think she's getting weaker. Yeah. Sensing danger for the frightened woman and her baby, Jackie and Alison prepare for an immediate rescue. She's got the baby. Got the doorway and the light. Is she going through? No. She's shaking her head. She's gone. I had her, had her just there. The light that was there, and she was just about to go through. He is coming. And she's shaking her head like no, that. No. So where have they gone? What about if we sit on the stairs? Good idea. We'll sit on the stairs and fill everywhere full of light the up hole. here. The rescue mediums move to the stairs. I feel so weak. To begin filling the entire home with white light. Right, so starting in the basement. Bring it right through the basement area. Bringing that white light up the stairs. I've seen something. The angry male spirit is revealed within this bath of psychic light. She's frightened of him. Something wrong with my head. Somebody's putting a condition on the head. The spirit focuses his anger on Alison. You just feel faint. We've got to walk him through the front door. Alison. Alison. Can you focus on the door? Yeah, I can't. I, I feel okay. okay now. So you're going to go down? I'm going to go him. down. Oh no. What? Oh. Oh, is he annoyed? He does not want, and he's going like anybody, anybody in this house. This is his house. It's his land, and he's proud of his land. There will have been here a lot of people who have lived in this house. They won't have been able to stay in this house because he doesn't want them there. He wants this house as it should be, as it was. This was mine. She's standing in front of him, and she's saying, come on, and I'll go with you. The female spirit turns to the rescue mediums for help. Oh, bless her. 
Help me to help him. Oh my god. The soldier spirit earlier met comes forward. Do you think this is the same man as outside? Yes. He's getting up now. I've just heard somebody whisper. Did she whisper something? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. The rescue begins. mediums present their findings to the homeowners. This gentleman was very proud. And compare it to independent research. He wanted help for his start. Within this farmhouse located near the town of Seagrave, Jackie and Allison have met three spirits. This is his house. An angry male spirit and a frightened woman whom they showed into the light. I feel I should be marching. And the third, a soldier who assisted with the rescue. Jackie and Allison will now present the results of their investigation. So now we're going to talk to you about the rescue. We saw the image of a gentleman. This gentleman was very proud, wasn't he? Extremely proud of, of the land. Of his land. You can actually feel him going like this. Now, who do you think this one is? You nailed him. That's who I saw. OK, that's the man we helped over. Yeah. And his name's James. Yeah. James. James Henry Leask was born on November the 2nd, 1859. These records show that in 1891, James purchased the land on which this home now stands. A lady in spirit came forward. Have you seen this lady? Yes, I have. That's yes. Mary. That's yes. her. Mary! These are husband and wife. They were the couple that we've helped over to the light. James married Mary Macmillan, and together they happily worked this farm while raising a family until they were struck by a series of tragedies. I had a vision, a really clear vision, of a man and a lady looking into a baby's crib. I felt frightened and I felt really distraught, like something absolutely awful had happened. God, what's happened? If you have a look at how many children they have here, three died as infants. Now, Rockabye Baby was uh, totally significant. The baby was baby Bruce Leask. On January the 18th, 1911, Mary gave birth to a child they named Bruce. Tragically, the infant developed bronchitis, which left him unable to nurse. On March the 22nd of that same year, the child died of malnutrition. He was only two months old. Not only that, but there were twin babies. Do you remember two peas in the pod? Yeah. Two peas in a pod. That's twins. She lost twin babies, Rose and Lillian, at a few hours old. On top of that, they had a son, James Lester. Alison got uh, an image of a military man. I feel I should be marching. He was a soldier and he died 18 years of age in battle. James Lester Leask, son of James and Mary, fought in World War I and was killed in battle in France in January 1917 at the age of 18. It's heart-rending, you know, when you think this couple had lost three babies and a son at 18. And I have seen him. He's obviously done that. He wanted help for his dad. James Leask died on October the 27th, 1925, of acute hemorrhagic pancreatitis, a condition sometimes caused by years of heavy alcohol abuse. She was frightened of him because he got a temper and the drinking changed him. 
After the deaths of his children, he remained attached to the land, desperately attempting to grasp onto the one thing that hadn't been taken from him. The return of his son has calmed his spirit and allowed him to go into the light. But what of Jackie's premonition, pennies from heaven? Pennies from heaven? Yes. Who sends you pennies from heaven? My mom. I think your mom will continue to do so. Your mom is very much around you. She's always going to be around you. It's not that long since she passed a spirit, is it? It's Boxing Day, so it hasn't even been a year yet. Oh, okay. oh gosh. Nobody had told me that she went to the hospital Christmas night, so oh. that's where all this hurt and anger and guilt is. So your mom is letting you know that she didn't mind that you weren't there. She's saying to you, it didn't matter because as soon as I'd left that body, right. I could still let you know that I'm there. So she'll be very much around you. She's a lovely lady and I bet she's had quite a chinwag with Mary, who was here. You've helped Mary to help her husband go over to the spirit world. Your mum was there too. Having delivered the mother's message, the lady's work is done. They have once again proved to be outstanding in their field. Well, I think we should belly up to the barn, Jackie. I think that's a good idea. It's a bit chilly. Well, that's why I got us some iced wine. Lovely sound. You know what, Alison? What, Jackie? I think it's time we were moving on. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers.